What's good, fam? This is your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips. In this video, we're going to talk about the best plugin for your MPC software, and that would be a channel strip. Now, why would I say a channel strip? A channel strip is going to have the basic essentials you're going to need for mixing and ma uh, for mixing and mastering your, uh, your own beats. So most... Um, uh, a channel strip is basically if you ever seen one of those big mixing consoles that uh, people like Dr. Dre sit in front of, or you know your favorite producers are sitting in front of. Uh, a mixing a mixing strip or mixing uh, mixing strip is basically from the uh, from the bottom where the fader is, all the way up to the top of the mixing strip. Uh, the the mixing board where the input gain is, okay? That's a whole strip, all right? And it usually contains like a uh, a preamp, EQ, some uh, compressor, uh, good ones that have a de-esser. Um, I don't know if I said filter. Filter, EQ, compressor, expansion, um... And I'm missing something else, but yeah, um, and and your MPC can only hold up to so many effects. I think only four, right? Four effects per sound, or per program, or per mastering um, situation. All right, so I'm gonna show you. Hopefully, I don't mess this up by moving this whole desk here. I'm gonna show you. One of the mixing strips I use. You don't have to use this one. You can use one of your own. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get uh, really good channel strips at a uh, discount price. So, if I got my NPC up, let's load up a program. I'll, I'll show you. Let's say I, I'll show you how like I mix a kick or whatever. You know what I mean? So. Let's load up a couple. Okay, let's load up a couple programs. I'm gonna find one. Find one with a weak kick. All right, all right, all right. So. Okay. do that one okay so here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna show you how I use a, a channel strip first we're gonna do a one on a four on the floor kind of kick drum pattern so let's hit P one two three and four hit play Turn this up to 120. All right, so now what I would do is first I'm gonna take off this bus compressor. I don't think I ever use any of the MPC effects. Maybe a couple of I use a couple of effects from the NPC, not a lot of them. Um, let's see. Let me find the channel strip. I use a lot of, um, you can find a digital channel strip or you can find an analog channel strip. I choose a lot of analog channel strips because they make a lot of emulations from the real actual boards. So they sound very similar. Um, and that's the world I came from back in the nineties. So I came from cutting and splicing two inch reels, uh, 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 going from tape and, uh, using a mixing board 
So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Should I use the API or should I use the knee? Hmm. I'm going to use the API today. All right. So we're going to use the Lindell API plugin. So move this out the way. So in this plugin, I got a preamp here. I have an EQ section, which this one is cool because this EQ has, it emulates the real one. Uh, it's a 50A, 50B, oops, and the 60. And, the, and you get a uh, VCA compressor and an FET compressor. Like that. I like using the VCA. So now, all right. Here's a filter. It's like an input filter. I like to filter anything like below 20. Anything below 30, I like to like filter out. Turn the compressor off. Make sure I turn it all the way off. Uh, I saw some gain reduction going on. I don't want to get there yet. All right. So I just want to filter out the low, a uh, little bit of the low lows. I'll come over here and I'll filter out some of the highs. Started from here. And just make sure you game match. So like when, if you're gonna add something, subtract some. 
That's it. Give me a second to fine tune. Now I'll go to the compressor. On a kick, I'll do maybe like a. Now, as you can see, when I raise the ratio, see the output gain go down. Those who seen my uh, compression video, I'll leave that in the link, you know, somewhere in the card above or in the description below. Check out my compression video and my EQ video. Attack, I don't want to too slow, release. Listen to the punch I got now. That's the that's the old kick. That's the new kick. Take that down a little bit. I don't want to overhype the. I don't want to overhype the sound. I want it to be like just even over here. And I could go, I could go deeper into it, but like I don't want to keep you here all day. Um, and like I said, it also has a gate and expansion over here. Um, if you're working with like live drums or uh, vocals maybe, um, uh, you could use the gate and expansion for that, and that's it. Actually, let me just show you a couple different ones. So, this one's based off like an API uh, hardware. You could look up the stuff like the AP2500, not the 2500, excuse me, um, API 550, A and B. Um, Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Um, another mixing board. It's another mixing console. So I use a lot of mixing consoles when it comes to uh, mixing tracks because look at this. This is one. Look at these as all different plugins, right? This is your filter. That's one plugin. Uh, gate section. That's another plugin. Um, compressor. That's another plugin. That's three. Limiter. That's another plugin. That's four. Now you just maxed out over here. Uh, then you got the EQ section. That's five. All right. So, and then whatever other you know what, whatever other effects you want to use. You know, you're kind of limited on the MPC with the effect slots here. So that's why I say get yourself a channel strip. Um, you don't have to get the ones I got. The ones I got are from Plugin Alliance. Uh, but, I mean, if you come here. Holy cow. You come up here. Go to channel strips. I'll leave a link in the description. I'll make it easy for you. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can get yourself a channel strip. Uh, they got channel strips from like 125. Uh, just come here and check it out, man. All right. It's your man, Jimmy Conway, beatsforlyricist.com, music production tips. 
Uh, this is the best plugins you need for your MPC software. Get yourself a channel strip. And it will also help you save on your CPU power too. So that way, you know, you're not using a whole bunch of plugins and running up your CPU. You know what I mean? So, all right. That's the tip of the day. Your man, Jimmy Conway, BeastsForLyricist.com. If it's your first time here, make sure you check the link below. The second link in the description will be for a free drum kit if you want one. First link will be to uh, any channel strip you want. It's my affiliate link. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you go through that. It'll help me and help the channel uh, grow so I could come here and make videos every single day. Um, also, if you need new sounds, you need new packs, go check out Loot Cloud right now. Right now, Loot Cloud has a 50% um, a off deal on their annual subscriptions. So you could have their, you could be using their platform all year long, downloading samples and everything from vocals to sound effects to drums to keys, strings, bass, whatever genre you want. 50% off for the year, and and you get a free plugin, the Valves plugin. Um, some of you see my review on that. I'll leave that in the link in the description too, or I'll leave it up as a card uh, in the video. All right. So yeah, it's your man Jimmy Conway, beatsforlyricist.com, music production tips, and I'm out. Peace.